super weird doing this on camera. What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna walk you through a day as a tattoo artist. So obviously I just woke up, my hair looks crazy, and I'm gonna walk you through my day. So first off, I like to start my day with food because I have ADHD and they say that starting your day with food helps you be able to have a more productive day. Obviously I'm not the best at just waking up. My brain doesn't work that great when I first wake up. So, all right, I'm gonna get some food and then start getting ready for the day and get to the shop. So one thing that I like to do to start off my day that really helps me out when it comes to, you know, my sobriety from staying sober off alcohol, all these things, is making your bed every day. That's one thing that you really don't think about, but doing that every day gets you used to uh, routine, which routines definitely help keep your mind off of other things, especially if you're first starting out, getting sober and starting your new life. Um, that's definitely something I highly recommend everyone to do. Just make your bed every morning. Now, obviously, I've been letting my mustache grow out, so it's all crazy and my hair's all nuts, so I gotta do that really quickly before running to the shop. A couple things I could talk about whenever I'm getting ready is the routine at a tattoo shop. So whenever I'm first getting to the shop, you know, a couple things that I do is make sure that the floors are mopped, make sure my station sanitized, ready to start out the day with all my customers coming in. I'll also go through my books, make sure I don't have any missed messages for people um, throughout the night because people will message at any time, you know, it could be three o'clock in the morning and they will message you. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your clientele base um, well informed and, you know, reaching out to everyone you can because that's how you get new clients, obviously. So that's one thing I highly recommend that you do every morning is just get in a routine if that is, you know, making your bed, cleaning your shop, getting ready for the day. Um, in those ways, it definitely makes life a whole lot easier. So those are the things I do pretty much every morning going to the tattoo studio. Super weird doing this on camera, but my mustache is getting too long, so I gotta curl it up a little bit. Not too crazy, because, you know, I don't wanna look uh, too wild, but you know, a little bit, just keep it up off of everything. So cool. Now, brush my teeth, you know, packed my lunch, cause you know, I do that. I try not to eat fast food at time, just cause it makes me feel like trash. And I like to be able to stay up a little bit later at night. You know, I'm not really a morning person. Uh, I don't like waking up early, it's just not for me. I do like staying up late. That's when I'm like the most artistic, the more I could get into drawing, things like that. So I try to stay away from fast food cause I noticed that it just makes me want to go to sleep. So I packed my lunch, got myself a little sandwich um, for lunchtime because as a tattoo artist, you'll go through your day and forget to eat, especially if you have to leave the tattoo shop to get food, you're going to completely forget about that and not eat all day. So staying healthy, self-care is super important. So these are the steps that I take every single day. All right, time to get to the shop and it is a cold one today. I probably should have warmed up my truck, but you know, I can't think of everything all the time. One thing that definitely helps me out is thinking about everything at once is just not something I can do. You know, I tend to forget things. So one thing that I do is make notes of things. That's one thing that helps me out, be able to remember everything I need to for the day. So you'll see that I always have a notepad in my back pocket. That's something I integrated when I was a kid. Um, just because I had ADHD, really bad dyslexia. So it was really hard for me to retain things that I needed to do. I'm really good at retaining information and things like that. But whenever it comes to someone telling me to do something or I need to remember to do something, that is gone. I uh, completely forget about it. And yeah, so I carry on a notepad everywhere I go and write down things that I need to do for that day. So tomorrow, definitely remember to warm up my truck. Now, we drive to the shop. So, I'm very thankful that we were able to find a shop so close to the house. It's only a two minute drive now compared to an hour because that drive sucked. Usually I just listen to music on the way and think about life. But now it's just two blocks away so I can just drive there quickly. See, I'm here now. It's like I teleported. You know, good editing. But um, yeah, so I checked my notepad. 
I have to put up a mailbox today because I opened up the shop and completely forgot that there wasn't a mailbox and the mail person. I don't know if they have a legit terminology for that. But the person that drops off the mail, USPS, told me that I need one. So that was in my notebook because I probably would have forgot to do that today if I didn't write it down. So definitely number one on the list of things to do after I get the shop all nice and cleaned up for the day. So it is now 10.30. The shop opens up at 12, so I give myself enough time, drop my keys, to do everything I need to without feeling rushed. I try my best to not have the feeling of being rushed because that's when you know my anxiety kicks up and I don't like to feel that at all so giving myself enough time every single day to do all the things I need to definitely help out so I do make sure that everything is clean at the end of the night you could see that as soon as you walk in all the stations are already set up clean ready to go everything is you know, nice, neat, set up exactly where I need it to. But I make sure that I spray everything with maticide and clean everything before starting the day. That's just a routine that I like to stick to and making sure I sweep, mop the floors. So let's get into it. Maticide, go around. Spray all the beds down. Even though we wrap everything, I still like to make sure that it's all ready for the day. Every single day. So I'm gonna let that sit on there for about 15 minutes because that's what it tells you to do to be able to fully sanitize the area. Some people like to have their apprentices do everything, which is nice because, you know, having help when it comes to running a tattoo studio definitely is beneficial, but I like to, for my own well-being and my own mental stability, I like to do the things that I need to do every single day, even though, you know, at nighttime, you know, the apprentice does help out, which is awesome. But I still like to do the things um, to upkeep everything myself, just because it helps me stay sane. So that's what I do. You could run your shop however you want to. I'm just going through the day-to-day -day how I do everything. So I'm gonna get these floors mopped, everything ready, and... I'll give you updates on what I go through the rest of the day. So a little update. I had a cancellation today, which normally I'd be upset about, but my birthday is this month on the 26th. So I ordered some spray paints just because I was kind of into them when I was younger, but not necessarily. Yeah, we won't get into that. But I was into spray paint whenever I was younger and wanted to get back into it. So I did my sign that I do all my artwork on the wall and I'm going to do it in the neon spray paint type of look so it'll look like a neon sign. So I got them in the mail which was awesome. It showed up on a day of cancellations so that's what I'm going to do today. You know I'm always trying to grow, always trying to learn new things when it comes to art so this is a great opportunity to not just have a day sitting around on TikTok or Instagram and actually learning something new that I haven't done in forever. So Let's get into opening up these boxes first. Yes, for everyone wondering, I did get my mailbox set up outside. I'll show you that on the way out. So, got some hardcore spray paint and some neon pinks just because pink looks awesome. Not sure why I got two of these. But, you know, I guess I'll use them for something. I got some cool stickers too. Yay, it's for my toolbox. Look at these stickers. They're everywhere. Alrighty. And I also don't want to ruin my shirt, so I'm going to take this off and just work with a short sleeve shirt on.
Well, there you have it. I'm gonna go open up a door because it stinks in here. So it is now six o'clock. I was at the tattoo studio just working on some art, doing the spray painting and everything. And now I'm going to get some supper and play with my kids for a little bit before they have to go to bed and get ready for bed to have school tomorrow. And then after that, I'm going to work on some of the appointments that I have to do and I have to draw while I'm waiting till I get tired at night. So this is the day-to-day -day walkthrough of what I do on a daily basis. And also I'm gonna start making more videos like this on where to get art supplies, um, different things that I do just to be able to help you guys out understand what a tattoo artist does. So whenever you do jump into becoming a tattoo artist, you'll know the basics of what we do. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.